There is progress to report in the effort to secure the area around a Detroit school where this video was shot. We showed it to you yesterday here first at four showing a teacher fighting off dogs in an area where children often walk. Paula Tupman is live with the latest developments and Paula, those dogs are no longer in the area. That is absolutely correct, Karen. That video was very, very disturbing. We've been on the story for about 30 hours, and I am pleased to say that as we were interviewing animal, or rather Detroit Animal Control today, they were able to confirm they have the dogs and charges are pending. Today, the neighborhood surrounding Clark Preparatory Academy on Detroit's east side is safer. Children are safer. Teachers are safer, parents are safer, because three vicious dogs are off the street. Our animal control investigator was out and has spoken to the victim, as well as uh, the owner of the animals, and the animals are now in our care and control. This time yesterday, we showed you video of the dog attack. It was dismissal time Wednesday afternoon when three dogs came from a neighboring house and unleashed terror on the children and faculty leaving the school. One teacher jumped in to get the dogs away from screaming children, and he became the target. It looks like a group of dogs that are probably under socialized, that have not had a lot of human interaction, and then weren't properly confined. Neighbors say dogs roaming the community have been a problem for years, and not necessarily just those three dogs. They have them here, and they'd be running around. There's one that comes constantly, and about every day. But knowing that these particular dogs had a willingness to chase and attack humans made them particularly dangerous, which is why getting them confiscated has been a critical piece to protecting these children. So what happens next? The dogs will be quarantined because the teacher did sustain at least one dog bite. And a file will be turned over to the Wayne County prosecutor for possible charges against the dog owner. Okay, so... Let's talk about some of these charges. First of all, we're talking about misdemeanor charges, but if convicted, they do carry up to 92 days in jail. Right now, that dog owner is facing probably as much as $2,500 in fees and fines. That's if he wants his dogs back or can even get them back. There's still a question of whether or not the dogs will be destroyed or whether or not after the 10-day quarantine, they will be returned to the owner if he does pay the fees. But for now, this area, Karen, is free of those dogs. And that's what parents are most concerned about. All right, Paula Tutman reporting live. Thank you.